Hey guys, it's G from the F Word here to review First Match from Netflix. So First Match is about a girl, high school girl, African-American girl named Monique. She's kind of been in the foster care system for a while and she's a very hardened individual. She's got a couple friends. She's a very hardened person. Opens up with her getting all her clothes thrown out of the apartment that she was living in for some stuff that she may or may not have done. It's a story about her trying to find her place in the world and try to take all the anger that she has inside of her and not feeling like she fits in anywhere. And she finds hope in the, the boys wrestling team in high school. And it's it's a way for her to release. Now, she's the only girl in it. There's no girl division in it. So she's wrestling up against boys. But she doesn't care because she's the type of character. She's the type of person that it doesn't matter how big you are. doesn't matter who you are. She has the determination and the will to do what she needs to. And pour all that anger that she has in the outside world and to herself into wrestling. Her dad comes into the picture in her life and wrestling was a big thing with her and her dad. He taught her a lot of what she knew. She has a lot of natural ability and the skills that her dad learned. But when he comes in, it kind of throws things for a loop and she's got some really big decisions to make. And some of those decisions aren't really for her own good, even though she thinks she's doing the right thing. Right off the bat. I don't know exactly how to say her first name. Elviri Emmanuel or Elvire Emmanuel, uh, correct me, let me know the pronunciation. She is amazing in this. She plays Monique. I've never seen this actress before, but damn, she has this presence about her. She just has this look of such determination, such, you know, no one's going to step to me. I am going to fight my way through everything. And you know, being a young girl, being in high school, you are limited to what you can and cannot do because you always have adults over top of you. So she's always going up against that. Also being in the foster care system, you can tell that's taken a toll on her. Just She displays such strength and will in her character that is really endearing. And at first you kind of look at her as an angsty teen, but you get where that comes from. So she is by far the best part, which is great because she's our lead. Uh, the guy that plays her dad, even though, you know, he's a questionable character as a character, does a very good job as well. Just everyone all around is really good. The boys on the team and specifically the coach as well. The coach is portrayed as someone who's seen some stuff, who's gone through some things, and has used wrestling to save his own life. Now, it doesn't explicitly say that in the show, but just the way that the actor portrayed him, you kind of sense that, and wrestling has been a salvation for a lot of these kids who could go a lot of different paths. But the big thing and the big highlight about it is it's not so much a wrestling show. Don't expect us to come here and see, you know, some type of a Rocky or a Never Back Down, which, you know, is kind of a lower form, but kind of that, you know, uh, that type of sports movie that they rise up and they overcome and all that. This is actually a story about choices and what Monique is struggling with, especially when her dad gets in the picture and how that affects everybody else around her. Someone who doesn't consider herself necessarily a leader, so feels that she can do whatever she wants, but is starting to notice that there are consequences to a lot of stuff that she is doing and that maybe her dad isn't the right role model for her. And there are a lot of decisions and a lot of things that she's almost forced to do. And because she's trying to rekindle things with her dad and have him accept her because she feels like she's not accepted by anybody, a lot of that is really present in here. And that, that is where the magic comes in this movie. You can see that. You can see she's got something to prove. She's got that determination and that will. But it gets tested. You're sitting there and, and wondering like, what are you doing? Don't do this. Don't do that. Can't you see what we see? But that's really tough because as a viewer, we can think all we want. We're on the outside. You really do feel for her and understand her. So those are the biggest highlights. Everything else around it is not too bad. You know, production and all that stuff. Stuff, but there's so much stuff to it and there's so many layers to it from the human aspect and from the characters and it is a character driven tale the wrestling in it is fine it's nothing like groundbreaking there are some pretty cool stuff to it but it's really the characters and it's really Monique and the relationship with her father and how she's using wrestling to save her that really plays into it and, and the more and more that she dives into the world her dad's involved in the more and more harder the choices are for her I don't necessarily have any real negatives about this. This can come across a little bit by the numbers. Some of the moments in terms of pacing were a little bit quick, especially in the beginning. I was I was expecting a little bit of a build up to 
her inundating herself in the boys wrestling team and that kind of happened a little bit quicker but you got to remember this isn't really about wrestling per se it's about Monique it's about her character and it's about her choices and her finding salvation in this however as a show or as a movie itself I, I was expecting a little more of a build-up yes they tell us earlier on that she does have a natural ability and she has learned stuff from her dad but seeing that grow a little bit more I think would have helped it so first match, I would highly recommend this. Definitely worth your time. Great character piece. They're really, really great performances, especially out of Elvira Emanuel. Again, I might say it wrong. My bad. And really a, ta a great tale about choices and the choices that we make and the, 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 the affection that we want from certain people, which we may not necessarily need from those people. We can stand on our own. And her finding that and, again, finding her inner strength and her inner leader to take out her control of her own life and if you're looking for an all-out wrestling rocky style type of thing this may not be for you it is a character piece with some you know action in terms of the wrestling and some other stuff there but very minor in comparison to the real theme so that's my quick review of first match have you seen it let me know in the comments below i would love to hear from you you can find me on twitter at the f words g you can email us at the f word podcast at gmail.com and make sure you're following entertain facts on instagram and until next time i'm g and i am out <laughs>